In 2019, North Somerset Council declared a climate and a nature emergency. As part of that, we started looking to see how we can improve our land holdings to benefit nature and climate. So we introduced the rewilding programme to improve biodiversity and increase habitat spread across our parks and open spaces. Over the last three years, we've introduced around 30,000 new trees and 400,000 square metres of tall grass. After we finished introducing these areas, we were successful in a lottery bid to train rewilding champions. So we teamed up with Avon Wildlife Trust for them to deliver the training to these champions over the last year. We're hoping to gather data on the biodiversity that are within the sites. We are having a look at the long grass areas, tree planted and the mown areas and comparing each one to see what sort of biodiversity there is. We're also doing community engagement, organising events in the evenings and weekends so that more people can come and join us. And we're also upskilling the local people and we have two people on placements and we're upskilling them. When we're working with the volunteers, what we want them to take away from the sessions is some, well, obviously having a great time and also some monitoring techniques. So learning how to run a plant survey, learning how to run an insect survey, that kind of thing. And a bit of a knowledge of what rewilding can look like. The Rewilding Champions Project is a, is, is a great way to learn more about your local environment, to be involved in the local environment and to just see what, what is around you because if you don't look, you don't find. I've really enjoyed doing it. Get this nice way to get out and meet some people outside that are equally as enthusiastic about wildlife and wildflowers. It's been really good you know, for mental health after lockdowns to get out and enjoy nature again. And it's really helped my confidence to have the, the training, to have the knowledge to pursue something more as a career that I'd always felt as, was one of my hobbies. So the champions now in the local communities and trained by Avon Wildlife Trust, we'd like them to continue doing this monitoring of these sites to show biodiversity increasing over time and so they can pass their knowledge on to the next generation, if you like, of enthusiasts interested in these long grass areas and we can get great data about what's going on in our local habitats. We definitely recommend them joining because I feel like you learn a lot and you feel like you're making a positive impact. Insects are in decline and this is a way that we can indirectly help them survive. So any spaces like this that would previously have been just kind of basically a green desert, why not turn them into an area filled with life that can benefit wildlife and benefit people coming to enjoy them? Mm -hmm.